locking these doors. I'm locking these doors. super weird intro and I'm whispering in my bathroom right now. It is 3.23 in the morning. Very weird intro and this is an extremely on the wind look. I'm on my underwear, but there is something that I'm gonna need everybody's help with right now. And I need everybody to either send this video to as many people as you can, put it on your Twitter, or maybe if you are an expert with this stuff and you did your research, you can help me out because I am in danger and my, the people I love are in danger and you know, it's, it's someone that I'm close to and the people I'm with are close to so I do not want to false diagnose and I do not want to put anything out there like listen, I have nothing against the girl. She's a great girl and I'm purely doing this for her help and for her safety and to see what is going on because this young girl needs help. So I'm asking you all to one, do not judge her. Two, please be as respectful as possible. And three, be very mature and just try to help me and her because right now she's in my house. And uh, man, it, this has been going on for three days now and I haven't filmed it because I thought it was just an act and I thought she was just being super weird just for whatever reason to try to scare me. But listen, I got goosebumps right now and it's three o'clock in the morning and this is not okay right now. So please, if you guys could do me a favor and help me and uh, without me explaining too much and talking too much, I'm just gonna bring my camera out there and just raw, very, very, very raw footage. I don't know if she's gonna allow me to put her on camera. If she does, I'll, I'll film her face, but if not, then I'll just hide my camera and get some audio, but please just don't skip any of this video help me and Adamir and Ashley and Marshall out and, and, and all our families and uh, just fuck man, this is some weird shit. Alright. Because you're scaring everybody and it's yeah. pissing me to fuck off. You okay if I film or not? Are you sure? Do you want to be on camera or? No? No, I don't feel good. I was like, yo, I don't know who you are. But my ex goes crazy because you supposedly it's the kid that follows her. Do you do you want me to see if, do you want me to film it or no? Cause maybe mm -hmm. someone in the comments can see if they're an expert or some shit, because I got a huge fan base that, Close are that door. experts with this shit. So I'm gonna set my camera up. I've told him he up like five times and you just like didn't care about it. <laughs> I didn't really it. What? What is it? My back hurts. I'm gonna say she says you are a demon. So, explain what the hell is going on, like, as in depth as you can. I can't explain anything right now. Like, something's right, listen, blocking you got me, my memory. You got me out of bed. <laughs> Off my game at 3 o'clock in the morning with Let's just be real. My ex is fucking crazy. Listen, it's, it's not just, it's not that. It has nothing to do with a relationship. Has nothing to do with that. It's. I literally it's, broke up with him. How many months ago, Adam? Here? Do you remember? It was like no October, or November. Bro, but it's so beyond relationship. Like yeah. she's saying that you're possessed by a man named Eric, and you're trying to burn down my house or some shit. Wait, she said that to you? Yes. No way. Yes. She told me you are possessed by a man named Eric. Why are you burn laughing? Up. I'm literally not okay, I'm here. It's, it's, it's not funny, bro. It's not funny. It's serious shit. She's not acting or joking. This is not a script. I'm scared. You've been acting like this whole fucking day. You don't even realize it. You act like this the whole time we fucking dated. I can't keep it down. I'm sorry. I'm scared. We had a good day. I don't know why you're being like this. You've been so mean to me today. I did all that stuff for you. You don't even like, you don't even see it. All right, yo, so let's take a step back. Do you want to introduce yourself to the camera? I can. Listen, yo, I'm out of here. <laughs> See that? 
No, okay. Introduce, you introduce yourself. Maybe you'll get a. Uh, they'll understand you as a person better. You want to? Just say. Just say hello. My name is blah blah blah. And tonight, you know, Adam is acting weird. And yeah. I don't know, bro. But I'm probably gonna have to work tomorrow, and I'm pissed off. Just, just introduce yourself. Hello, my name is. Do you want to do that or no? Because he's watching me. Who's watching you? Who's watching you? Who's watching you? The ghost that Adam here keeps talking about. There's a ghost in the room. Is what you're saying? Where is he? Is he inside Adam here or is he fucking roaming Adam around? I kept saying to burn the Ouija board and Adam here told me that you had it. I have like 12 Ouija in boards. Ashley's car. I literally have like 12 it's Ouija boards. Ashley's been acting weird. Ashley's not acting weird. Ashley's perfectly fine. It starts with me. It's like the movie Final Destination. What? Everybody does. Bro, you're gonna have to take her home, bro. I'm sorry. I need to take you home. I'm not fucking... I don't want to be in a car with you. Alright, Jake will come. I ain't getting in the fucking car. Dude, I will drive. It's fine. Bro, she just told me she was gonna burn down my house, or you were gonna burn down my house or some shit. You think I wanna be a- Sorry, I'm fine. Your pupils are fucking huge. Cause I'm tired. Let me see your pupils. I'm fucking tired. I literally have videos of him on his phone. He said that some YouTuber's brother gave it to him. That used to live here. She said, where did I get this phone? I said, Stromedy. Stromedy can confirm that that is his phone. His little brother? His little brother. It was his little brother that doesn't use it anymore. He said I can use it. That is confirmed. That's see, confirmed. I don't see my seven year old little brother anymore. And I don't know who the next time I'll see him is because he's at my dad's with my stepmom. He said, and you said, that's where the cross fell off the wall. You said they'll see you. And that's where what? I couldn't find the holy water and I brought it into the office the one day. Because I felt wait, like wait, 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 you're going off on like, you're telling like three different stories at once. That was chasing me. I thought it was my stepmom because I was at. The Freehold Mall, um, in that store, Soul Exchange. And then I kept, like, going to the store, so I was scared. And, like, my stepmom told my dad. And I got home, and my dad was, like, looking in my bag for LSD, but, like, I quit smoking weed. I'm fucking tired. Do you, wait, what? I'm fucking tired, too. Like, I'm just scared. You can just go to sleep. Like, I don't feel good. I, I can't even breathe. So you think you're the center of all this? I feel like he's causing it. Who's causing it? Adamir? Adamir. I tried getting him to drink water. He went drinking. He dumped it out in the sink. And the other night when I was drinking water, he like he hit it and it like it splashed on me. And I forget why. Apparently. I'm why? Why do you want? Why do you want me to drink water? He wouldn't even eat a cookie that I gave him. All right. Why do you want? What me is to that? But okay. Let's he, leave found, all... he found videos of him, he found videos on the internet of how to like make holy water. For you, Bree. That's for, for you. Him. It's for you. I tried getting you to drink it. That's he doesn't need was, to drink holy water. He was telling me to put the holy water on me. Listen, so holy water is just blessed water. If he drink it, nothing will happen. If, if, if I drink holy water right now, nothing will happen because we don't have negative energy in us. He kept saying he saw numbers, he was counting his money. And when I was counting it, I counted it wrong like four times. And then he counted it. So, let's leave the personal stuff out of this. I don't want like, you know, your personal life or anything to be involved in any of this because, you know, it's personal. You, and you need to stop. Like, but we need to... Just, need can you to tell the story of like... What you think is happening with leaving your personal life out of it? I don't know. I think I'm possessed, and I'm not even kidding. Like I can't. I just I can't make this shit up because I'm like I feel energy. Like I I've been saying that I just want to get rid of the feeling because I'm scared. But like at the same time, I know it's not bad. I just have to like get rid of it, but I don't know how. And that's why I'm scared. So it's an energy in you, not Adamir. No, it's Adamir because I felt like this ever since I started seeing him again. Literally. Like ever since I started looking into his eyes, like every time I look in his eyes, his pupil will be huge. Pupils. Okay, you ever think that maybe he just still loves you? I and it's I not that he's possessed? 
and I talked to him about quitting smoking weed and nicotine and stop doing coke and all that and he said that he did it a long time ago and I said you should quit because I'm scared for you because it's going to kill you one day. And he you, do you see what I'm saying though? Like, you just move off on a did, huge tangent. He didn't like, believe me when I told him he was a drug addict and he still doesn't. But what does it have to do with him being possessed? Yeah. What? See what I'm saying? You're going because off on a huge personal, tangent. Because the personal issues are making him do all this stuff. Maybe he has a... Wait, I do it because I've been doing it for a while. Why have you been doing it? Okay, even if the camera's on me, I don't give a fuck, I'll say it. Do you know anything about... I smoke weed. I don't give a fuck. Do you know anything about your family but history? I know a lot. That's my family. Know? Elton literally told my mom everything. Alright, alright, all right. listen. No I, names. I don't I want to keep the personal stuff out of it because I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if his family wants to be in it, involved. Nothing. We want to know what's going on. The only you. thing I want is just the raw, why the fuck are you scaring everybody in, in not in, only in this house, but your whole family? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're here to try to help you. Like, what is, it's... Because I'm scared of something, because he's... You're scared. scared of something. Why is that Adam here, though? Why are you... If you're so scared of Adam here, then why are you here? Because the bad stuff is making him do all that. What stuff? I've been telling him he needs to get help ever since we started, like... Like, talking, like, dating and stuff, and when he moved into my house. And he said that he was at my house one day, and... I don't know how he got there, and I don't know how he got it. Cause I, I slept there. over because your mom said I could. But you told me you didn't know. You didn't know. And then we went to North it. Carolina next day. And you told me you didn't know how you got there. Listen, yeah. Adamir. Adamir. Okay, something about Adamir loves to talk shit. Your you know what I'm saying? Thinking, he yeah. just says random stuff. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Has it doesn't mean he's possessed. He's always he's always saying some dumb shit to me. Me too. That's why I broke up with him. Okay, but okay, that that's some personal. Yeah, we're not Bree, talking about that. Bree, let's all right. Let's go back to this man, Eric. This ghost Eric that's possessing Adamir. Who's that? He goes celebrity. He, wait, he's a person. I don't know him. Is he a person or a ghost? You DM'd him. Now I did. You called him. Because you're scaring the shit out of me. Because you're scaring me. You keep trying to get me to sleep with you after I've told you. So many times I don't want to sleep with you. I set that up because I don't want to sleep with you. Okay, and I said I, I was want fine. To sleep okay, up. okay. Shh. And I said I was fine. And I said you can sleep with me. It doesn't matter. Like, who is Eric? Is he a person? A ghost? Why is he following I you? I saw him at Liberty, but... Like, he's a man. He's a, he's a human being. Mm hmm So how the fuck could he possess him? If I don't even know this kid. Because we all went to the pig farm. And we all smelled that smell. A pig farm? Mm-hmm. He wasn't there with us when we went. Yeah, he went me? after. And I didn't even know him then. So you smelled a smell at a pig farm? All of us did. Me? You don't remember smelling that? I smell that smell in every abandoned place I go to. I've been to abandoned places before and I never smelled that. Every I know that if you are kind of just... Popping in you don't know what the pig farm is I did like an abandoned pig farm video like a few months ago And it was like super crazy. There was a knife in the wall and it was just weird stuff and we got like this Terrible terrible stench and we got chased out by something which you know is normal because I go to these haunted places all the time but uh, She tagged along that day and now she's saying something about being Possessed and another man from like a whole like someone I don't even know also was there and was telling her about it I don't know all it's I not me. What? It's not me. So it's Adamir. I'm looking at this kid's Instagram. He looks like a normal fucking kid. He, that's what I'm saying. He might just be like a weird, abandoned. You know, I'm I'm weird. I like emo stuff. I watch horror movies. You know, I'm weird. But that's the thing. I do too. And like, I know a lot of shit about that, and like the universe and all that. That's why I'm saying something's not right. Cause normally, like I don't feel like this, and my dad tried blaming everything on Alan coming back, and I don't have a problem with Alan. Cause I've talked to him and my mom about it, and my dad before I even before I even came back at my dad's house. So why are you saying you're gonna Adamir's gonna burn down my house? Did I say that? 
Views. Yes, you said that off camera before I even decided to start filming. You said Eric is possessing him, and it's, he's gonna make Adamir burn down my house. And you're scared for I Ashley and Marsh. Getting to Sage your house, but I tried getting him to like make like holy water, but he found the video. What? I don't know. What video? When I was at my dad's. I kept going down all these like rabbit holes. What? And like I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Going down rabbit holes? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, you ever watch like conspiracy videos where it's like once you like find like art conspiracy, you find one thing out and then like you keep finding more stuff out? Yeah. I keep finding out more and more about Adamir and why he acts like this and I've been trying to get him to get help. And he's the one that's saying, I need to see a priest and that he's recording. Yeah, I'm recording also. Let me see your phone. You have videos on there. Okay, let's look at him. I know it's super hard to follow on, follow with what's going on because there's so much context that you guys don't understand because like I said, it's been going on for like two, three days now. But uh, I just decided to pick up the camera because I, you know, it's a fucking serious situation. That. Like serious, so I decided to pick up the camera, see if any of you guys can help me in the comments. But I know it's super hard to follow along, just he try your hardest to follow along and understand. Me, he literally just told me that he didn't record this. Like I was editing my pictures that night and he kept getting mad at me because he thought that I was like trying to get with you or something in your room. And you're saying you didn't record that? No, because I don't remember recording that song. But now looking at the video, I remember it, yeah. What is this? I don't give a fuck what it is. It's my phone. Why are you going to my phone? Yeah, okay, okay. He's a good looking guy. He gets, you know, girls. <laughs> that doesn't mean he's possessed. Like I said, I want to keep the personal stuff Can I my phone? out of this completely. Can I have my phone? Stop. It's me, Danny. You guys aren't even in the Navy. Yeah, maybe she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. I don't fucking get it. Can I have my phone? You going Can home? you tell me? You're going home. You're going home. You're scaring the I'm shit out of me. I'm not driving with you out of here. You gotta call, yo, someone's gotta like call an Uber or some shit then. Then do you wanna walk? Yeah. Okay, walk. Bye. Don't make your walk, bro. Just... <laughs> he, I'm not he in the He wanted me to sleep in the hallway at the hotel that we're gonna stay at in North Carolina. Well, I mean. But he kept trying to get me to leave so many times. He must have said it like a hundred times. Why, why bring that up? Hey, listen, I've never had a problem with you, like, staying here, but, like, this, the second you say you're gonna, like, burn down the house and shit like that... I didn't say that, though. You said Adam here was gonna burn down the house. You said a Eric is gonna burn down the house. Can you see his face right now? Like, is it normal for someone's pupils to be that big? To be honest, I can't even really see Adam here's pupils because his eyes are brown anyways. So I, like, never noticed what his pupils look like. Eyes. Let me see. You can manipulate me. Look at you. Look at it. Her pupils are fucking. Big. Holy fuck! Yeah, your pupils are big, actually. You're telling me mine aren't like that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice. Yours but are small. Yours are tiny. Hers are big. Wait, can I see again? Look into the camera real quick. Let me see your pupils. Yeah, Let me see your pupils. That's you can't me. even see his eye color in that. Because my eyes are brown, but your pupils are big as fuck. Can I see your eyes? There's normally a black ring around my eyes, and they norm don't normally get like this. My pupils are normally normal. Your pupils are huge right now. Because I'm scared as fuck. 
I don't even think the camera could see that, but that's just like your whole eyeball pretty much. Now yours got big. Yo, can we like- Yeah, because I'm scared as fuck. <laughs> I'm fucking scared as fuck, Can we burn the Ouija board? Listen, I'm telling you, that's the reason why all this shit's happening. I, listen, I just don't want to be, like, I want to go to bed. In the middle of any of this, first of We're all, and out. second of all, I didn't care about what the fuck you guys bickered about for the past three days. But the second, you know, I'm in harm's way, and my girlfriend's in harm's way, and my dog is in harm's way, I'm like, okay, this needs to fucking get that's solved. What I'm saying, but nobody listens. Adamir's been living with me for the past like five months and he's never even showed one sign of like harming me or anybody else here. She's crazy, bro. She's crazy. She's got some shit in her, bro. I'm not possessed. I don't know what the fuck Listen, listen, listen. Like I said, I know it's super hard to like follow along with this. And I don't want you guys judging her or anything. No hate. This is purely because I want help. We need help. Say it. What was he saying about me? I said we need to find someone that can figure out help. An expert. Like a therapist? Not even a therapist. I feel like a therapist is, you know, is that a therapist league? Is it normal to keep empty dab carts? Oh, because I had a freaking... Can I you stop you saying that on camera? I told you to throw it out. He said he's not doing anything with it. I threw it out. Did you? Yeah, you saw me. <sighs> I'm I'm done with this shit, bro. Yeah. I don't know, but I need to sleep. Like he I doesn't even have work tomorrow. He knows that. I don't know that. Danny didn't text me yet. Listen. This, we can't go to sleep until this is like figured out. I'm not fucking. I'm going to sleep. I'm, I'm doing this shit. Board? What? Should we have him do the Ouija board? Fuck no. You're fucking telling me he's gonna burn down the house. You want me? It didn't work. You're telling me you didn't believe in that because it was bought from Target. Listen, I know for a fact that he's shit. He's watching you. What? He's okay. watching Yeah, he's you. watching me. I know for a fact that shit works. I don't believe in that I will ever get possessed because I have God by my side. That's what I'm saying. Because I trust in the universe. But if you're fucking demonic and like telling, telling me you're possessed and shit like that, the Ouija board is okay, not something I believe like in Buddhism and Shinto because I'm from Portugal. So I have ties with it because this guy went to Portugal to convert them to Christianity and he did it because he ended up falling in love with the idea of Buddhism and Shinto and like all the mountains and the gods and the earth. So that's why I don't believe in like all that religion stuff. And my dad goes to church a lot because he's seeking recovery for addiction because my grandparents were alcoholics. And I know that something's up. And it's not with me because I've recovered from that. That's why I quit smoking weed and drinking alcohol. And that's why I've been trying to get a CV pen because I'm quitting nicotine. Bro, I gotta go to sleep too, bro. I'm me. really tired, to be honest. I'm not trying. I'm not going to sleep though. Like, listen, you don't gotta sleep in here. Just go sleep on the couch. But I'm going to sleep. I wanted to sleep on the couch to begin with. I told you that. Okay. Then I told you I didn't want to sleep in here in the bed with you. To be honest. I don't want like any of you motherfuckers sleeping here anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I ain't do shit. Supposedly I'm fucking possessed. The fuck? <laughs> you wanna try it? What? The holy water? I mean, if it's gonna work and if it's gonna help everybody here, then I'm willing to do that. On like everybody. I am not I'm scared of de too. like any negative demons, devil, I've nothing. I've been saying that ever since. I'm I not. I'm just not here. scared. I, I have so much better stuff before I looking over me. Here. What? He was here before I ever came here, and I started feeling this when I came back again. When I started like sleeping here and shit, I've been having like weird dreams, and he refuses to tell me his dream from last night. Cause I just really apologize for what I did. I don't know. This can be like a love scandal. He at this point, y'all are like, "Oh, you want to sleep with me? Oh, yeah, change about me? Like, is it just okay? Just be completely honest right now. Are you guys fucking just bickering because you're in love and blaming all this shit, or is this fucking? Is she actually it's fucking possessed or what? His soulmate when I'm not. I so this is a fucking love scandal. Yeah, I told, but I told him that so many times, like literally, from the second I started talking, I was like, I all do right. not want. On camera I want right you now. on camera right now. Stop fucking talking. 
I don't want to be with you. I'm never going to be with you. And it's over. Okay? okay. Now you need to fucking chill. Because I want to sleep. Wait, wait, What the fuck? So this is all because you guys fucking... She uh, thinks I want to date her. I want to fuck her. I want to do this. I don't. He wants so to you're telling me, me and that's the problem. Oh my, so you're telling me he's you're telling me he's gonna burn down my house and he's possessed because you guys are arguing about being in a relationship. And he's addicted to drugs because of that. I'm not addicted to drugs. The truth hurts. What? I told him that so many times. That's what this that's what this is all about. It's about to be a bridge, but that's kind of why I'm lying. Because like I hope that know, he finally but... fucking figures it out. What the so fuck? That turn to your music. And stop acting like this for everybody's sake because you're driving everybody fucking crazy. Not just me. Yeah, she just completely switched up. You completely switched up. That's why I'm telling you. Like, I've been trying to get him to listen to his mom. Because I know she's always with him. And I know that he knows that, but he can't come to terms What with the that. fucking shit? Can Bro, I okay, listen, listen. Both of you shut the fuck up. Both of you shut the fuck up. I don't even want- Both of you shut the fuck up. No, I no, want listen, you to shut listen. the fuck up because both- I don't want you talking about my mom. My mom passed away and it's fucking Mother's Day and I want to go to sleep so I can go to my mom's grave tomorrow you're pissing me off. So you need to fucking chill. Okay, so the other day when we were at Wesley's, I told you that I'd help you paint something for your mom. How come you didn't want to do that? You asked me if I wanted to paint, but I had to go back to work. I said when we got back to your house after Wesley's. Alright, can I, can I say something? Yeah. I just want to go to sleep. Can I just say something? Is this some demonic shit? Or is this you guys are bickering because... His demons are controlling it. His you know demons I mean. are controlling it. If you know what I mean. Your, your inner demons, like when like depression, anxiety, and suicide... So this motherfucker, this motherfucker, Eric, Eric is not possessing him. It's his deem you're you're telling me two different stories. You're telling me a fucking demon's possessing him, he's gonna burn down my house and kill everybody around me. You just said that everybody around you is gonna die like final destination. And now you're telling me, oh, Adamir still loves me and he's smoking weed because of it. He's not just smoking weed. Because he told me that. All I do smoke weed. He told me that did he ever tell you that he like did cocaine? Because he's been talking about like Popping pills and like sticking needles in his arms. Listen, like, heroin. listen. And he used to mock I, I, me. I'll, I'll be like, honest. I'll be he honest. He used to mock me with self harm. We got into a really bad fight, and he held the razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop recording. Okay, it's about four thirty in the morning now. I just want to get like a little bit of an outro kind of thing. I don't know if this video is even gonna be uploaded because, you know, I'm just gonna wing it. I guess I don't know what to really believe at this point. So pretty much guys, I've come to the conclusion it's a self-diagnostic by me. I used to be really, really, really into the mental part of like life. I used to study it nonstop. I was completely obsessed for years of my life. I even went to college to pursue my dreams of understanding the brain. And I've come up with the diagnostic that Brie has developed a severe split personality disorder where she, her life was going through so much stuff. She, she was like, she kept going on rants about her family and this and that. She kept going off on tangents, and I think that's her normal self. That's going that she's slipping into her normal state where she's like has all these depressions and these these bad vibes going on, and she was unable to cope with it and unable to handle it, and she didn't know what to do. So she formed a whole new person in her brain that she can flip on and off instead of being depressed and she was like you know what? i can't do this anymore and now she developed a little switch in her head where she's like boom now she's a happy giggly girl that wants to talk again i'm not an expert i do know a lot about this stuff but i am not an expert so if you guys can point me in any direction guys obviously she was completely baloney at some points, but other points, she got hair standing up on the back of my neck. Obviously, she's completely baloney when she's saying that Adam is a drug addict. Obviously, he's never fucking done hard drugs in his life. On the other hand, she was in a corner crying, saying that everybody around her is going to die. And then she also said that a guy named Eric is possessing Adam here, and Adam is going to fucking murder my family. Super weird situation on it. By the way, this is not planned, not skidded, nothing. Like I said, it's been going on for a while. 
I know that it was personal with her family and her family trying to figure out what was going on and I never really got involved but now she's been at my house for the past three days, four days because she has nowhere to go and it's taking a toll on my life at this point. So it's me asking you guys to, as the viewers, to help me help this girl because my life is, I'm scared for my life.